So, uh, speaking of WWE, it was a big, big, big week for some former WWE stars. The man formerly known as Dolph Ziggler, uh, his name is Nick Nemeth, became the IWGP Global Champion. Uh, Mustafa Ali becomes TNA's X Division Champion. And Matt Riddle. Uh, became the New Japan Pro Wrestling World Television Champion. I just wanted to know how you felt about these former WWE talents uh, in their new promotions finding success. Um, I find it kind of cool that they're wasting no time mm. turning them into major stars, and mm. I, I like it. I mean, it's cool, yes, to have like a buildup for these people, but it's just like I feel like when they were in their um, when they were in the WWE. I mean, Matt Real did see gold. Um, I don't, I don't remember seeing Dolph Ziggler with a world title. I see him with a tag team title. I don't remember him with a world title. Um, it's just very pleasing to see some people, like him and Mustafa Ali, of course, um, get it right away because it's like, it, time is of the essence. Yeah. They have put in the workload while they're in the E. Obviously, they didn't see enough value in them. So it's very nice to see that other promotions are taking their careers seriously. Um, and they're like the right guys. <clears throat> between, of course, Mustafa Ali and um, formerly Dolph Ziggler. Saying Nick Nemeth is just... I had to get used to it, y'all. Yeah, same. But, um, <laughs> it, it rolls off the tongue weird, like Nick Nemeth. I don't know why. It just, it just comes out nasty. He needs, to, he needs to do something about that. But anyways, um, <laughs> no, it's awesome to see them um, have the belts because I feel like they're guys that put on five-star classics, and I personally feel like they're just naturally going to build the division around them. Kind of similar to how they gave Naomi um, gold pretty fast, and she mm. helped that whole entire division, and she walked out. You know, she made a statement. So that that's pretty awesome to me. Now, Matt Riddle, um, I always appreciated him as a talent, as a human being. Um, yeah, questionable. But... The man is super duper talented. I'm not sure if, J if Japan is aware of what he does or they just simply don't care. Um, Cause like, I don't think Japan really cares too much about PR as, as much. Like, I don't feel like I really see conversations or what goes on over there, but I, then again, I'm not steadily on their news. Mm. It's just, I'm a little bit surprised because it wasn't just too long ago that he had um, his allegations yeah. It, during the pandemic and then we found out some other things about how he acts you know uh out of character when he's not on tv mm -hmm. um i think i even saw something i was scrolling on on the feed while he was inserting this topic i saw something where apparently wwe busted him doing i can't i can't even say uh, uh, i can't say the drug of choice on on on, on youtube but whatever the drug of choice y'all could go <laughs> ahead and go on twitter they busted him at a strip club doing that i'm just very surprised that Jesus. they snatched him up <laughs> And they wanted to put a belt on him. So that's interesting to me. But if I have to comment on Matt Riddle as like a talent, um, he's great. Um, mm -hmm. I loved all his work at NXT. You just knew that he was just going to stand out and be that guy, be likable to the audience. Um, so it's like, all right, don't really like the guy, but is he money wherever he goes? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He's going to sell merch over there. He's going to be well-liked over there. And that's just something I got to come to terms with. But congratulations to everybody else. Um, they, they they deserve it. Matt Real, I got I, him. But the, the rest, they deserve it. They deserve it. I'm, I'm thoroughly happy for them. But what do you think about it? Any opinions or thoughts? So I'm really, really glad that, like you said, they're wasting no time with putting these talents where they belong. And regardless of where they stand as far as their character, whatever the case may be, I guess more so specifically talking about Matt Riddle, these are guys that are main event talents, right? Like Matt Riddle has the tools to be a top guy. Nick Nemeth has the tools to be a top guy. Nick actually was a world heavyweight champion. He was, um, after WrestleMania 29, he had one of the most memorable cash-ins on a Alberto Del Rio. That's a, That name is a blast from the past. But the story that I'm the most interested in is really Mustafa Ali. Um, this is someone who we have championed on the show because of his character. He stands ten, ten toes down on what he believes in. He's never wavered, and he's also been a great talent. He's put on some great matches, especially when he was a part of the Cruiserweight Classic, especially when he was a you know heavily featured in the Cruiserweight division. This was somebody that I think we all felt like could have 
been showcased a little bit differently in WWE. So to see him with a championship like the X Division Championship, which has been held by the likes of Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels, AJ Styles, I think that it, it was just really, really good to see kind of him get his shine. I think he's going to do great in TNA. I feel like he already has a, a, a great campaign, a great kind of gimmick with the In Ali We Trust type of thing. In fact, funny part was as they were building up to his X Division title match in TNA, they kept saying that the X Division title matches were sponsored by Mustafa Ali, which is, I thought, a very, very interesting way of giving him a presence on the product without necessarily featuring him, but successfully also incorporating his gimmick into the product. I think it was absolutely genius. So I'm really, really happy for Nick for being the global champion. I'm really, really happy for Mustafa. I'm really, really happy for Matt. I mean, I don't think it's a matter with Matt about PR, um, I think that the things that, you know, obviously he has had his allegations against him and that set aside, I feel like outside of WWE, there aren't a lot of companies that have a strict wellness policy the way that WWE has. And thus, because of that, a guy like a Matt Riddle probably isn't going to get in as much trouble in a New Japan Pro Wrestling as he would in the WWE because he has the freedom and the flexibility to do more than he did in WWE outside of his work. So I think that that's the whole case with Matt Riddle. Um, so, yeah, that's that was pretty much that. But we want to know how you feel about these former WWE stars getting success out of WWE. Let us know in the comments below. But we are moving on. So 